G'day everyone, Matt Elder of Family Bricks here and welcome to the third vlog of this week, the week that was. Down at our holiday homes in Margate and Broadstairs that people can rent, an hour plus east of London, England. Sunsets here are amazing. Here is another gorgeous one from the lounge of our Lego themed holiday let in Margate. Love coming here, getting away from the city and just relaxing. Any time of year, doesn't matter as you can always watch the water for hours, rain, hail or shine. This is hello to say hello to everyone. That's a flag. That's UK. Building a fingerprint. If you put your finger in there. Oh, very cool. And they also built this where um, some of your soft toys or dragons can sit. Come on, two plus. Let's go. So the thing with having a Lego wall is then you also need to have lots of pieces. So I've just been through and sorted out all the pieces as well. You probably won't stay like that for very long, but it gives a bit of an idea of the selection that people have that they can uh, go through and build their little creations on the Lego wall. And then all back in to their place, ready for some Lego action. Kids just enjoy being kids, digging and creating in the sand. Or just down at the beach, finding chalky rocks to draw with. Or continue to build their castle dam. Welcome to Margate. Margate with family bricks. Or simple fun like jumping over waves. As always with the kids, all you need is a bit of sand and some seashells and you're good. Hours of fun just relaxing in the water. Or throwing sand at each other. Plenty of places to explore and climb all over. Always something random happening in Margate like this Vespa convention. Five miles along from Margate is Broadstairs. Here you get great sunrises and beaches with white cliffs. And more throwing sand on the beach. What comes around, goes around. Bright and colourful with all the beach huts. This is the main beach at Broadstairs called Viking Bay and goes around to the main pier. A well protected beach with small waves great for little kids. And a tidal rock pool where kids can go looking for crabs and fish. And back to the sand throwing. What would a beach be without territorial seagulls looking to snag a chip? People wandering around and investigating the tidal rock pool. Or heading out exploring and claiming their own little island. And dancing at their victory. On windy days, great for flying a kite, providing it doesn't get away like this one. What would a day at the beach be without some sandcastle building? Or making modifications to something already existing? Not everything goes to plan. What's that sunshine? You'll have to speak up. Can't quite hear you. That's it. Try from somewhere else. Any time now. 
This ain't rocket science. My goodness, do you need a haircut? Got you thinking about it now. Oh, I get up. So I just finished up the promotional art for first live stream. So here's me doing my best Good Morning Vietnam impersonation there. Sort of with headphones and for this sort of stream and things. And then I've gone through and done like all the guests which have been dripping out on Instagram and those things. So uh, Sarah Starbricks. So just really loved the shape and the colors of that and thought it worked well. And then Lamborghini Waffle Sauce. Uh, fellow London Affles who loves these little waffles so I thought that was really cool being able to put the tiles in there fortunately I didn't have any reference for the legs and things so maybe do that another time finish it up and uh, Nathan Diaz one of the Lego Master winners UK very first series so that was cool get that one done and Kaz Mocket uh, done an interview with her before, an amazing LEGO builder, has some models in the LEGO house at the moment, and that's just been extended, so hopefully we can actually get to Billund and see them, because we were meant to go in May, but that was cancelled. And then Kevin Hinkle, who another illustrator and does great work, and also used to work for LEGO for a while, so a bit tricky doing his one. Um, because all of his sig figs basically have Lego logos and things on it, which I think he's moved past that now, so took a while. But then when I hit on the idea of then putting his own graphic from his website and his branding on, I thought that would work really well. So I'd be curious to see if eventually this actually becomes a sig fig or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. So I underestimated how much time it would take to get through all of these and get them done. So I think this will be the only time I do it. Maybe something special as the first one, or maybe something like that. So, see how it all goes. Pretty apprehensive about it. Never done uh, one of these sort of Lego live streams before, and just feels like uh, being a duck, like on the top, sort of nice and calm about it. But underneath, just everything's the legs are kicking like crazy, trying to figure out how this is all going to work and how it's going to go. Also cool now that I've got them uh, for the first one all in this little sketchbook. So I'm hang on to them. Uh, always like hanging on to some of the sketches which have significance and I think these ones will so we'll see how it all goes okay just finished up my first ever live stream for the family bricks YouTube channel I think it went pretty well uh, had a great lot of people on uh, keeping the chat going just uh, talking about all the different topics and things like that and then I didn't try to actually really build anything because I was just trying to keep keep the conversation going and keeping things ticking over which I feel exhausted um, some people just make that look so effortless and actually uh i don't know probably just not my natural flow so it's still great nonetheless and during the meantime of course uh, one of the kids naturally saw one of the lego sets which i was going to attempt to build and before he knew it uh, they'd gone through and built it and i think quite happy and pleased with that although now i'm looking at it's like mm, i wish i knew how to build this now so i might have to pull it apart and do it myself so the first stream done and learned a lot from actually doing the process and everything like that. So I have to have a think about the next one and trying to come up with a bit of a format and a topic and things which the way which I like to do it or which might better suit the groove or what I want to be doing. So possibly you want to push it more into an art bent or something of that. Hopefully you can get it right this hey, time. This Saturday the 4th of July, going to be doing our second Family Bricks YouTube live stream. Going to be an yeah. Independence Day special being the 4th of July and also the easing of lockdown. The 8.30 in the UK and 3.30 in the US. So join us on the Family Bricks YouTube channel and hope to see you there. If that's not enough Lego for you, then we've also got some books like Batman's Guide to Being Cool, and you can get more of a Lego fix with that. And some jigsaw puzzles as well. We've had a hot day or two here, so Father's Day Lego chocolate. Because it's become a bit gooey now. Mmm, yummy. A cheap bit of plastic and a hose go a long way. No, oh, wet. <laughs> Quick veggie garden update. 
and some of the broad beans we've taken out of the plants. Some good sized ones there. And we got a head of lettuce, not very big. I think that was mainly because we left them there for a little bit too long and all the slugs and snails and things got in and really ate most of them. All ended up being eaten. So, lesson for next time. Now, about that haircut. Look on the floor. Oh, I've got a nice This idea. is how much hair I've done so far. The things we have to do. How did this turn out? This is a Family Bricks video. Be sure to hit that like button, share, and if you want to be super awesome, subscribe. Click the bell and select all to be notified of new videos as they're uploaded. That's it for vlog number three. If you've enjoyed this, hit that thumbs up. It takes a fraction of a second to do. Be sure to join us for the second Family Bricks live stream on Saturday, 4th of July, 8.30 p.m. UK time, 3.30 p.m. USA Eastern, and 5.30 a.m. Australian time. Here are some other videos you might be interested in. Until next time, when we talk about all things Lego and lifestyle.